Hello and welcome to Model Kit Beginner. Hope you guys are doing all well. I'm certainly feeling just about fine. Right now, today uh, we do what we call the bench update. You've seen it in the title. That's uh, nothing uh, new. I just would like to do that maybe every two, three weeks. Depending if I get something done. Sometimes I don't do anything for two and three weeks and just work. But uh, if I have stuff uh, done, then obviously I would like to show it to you and why not. I mean, these are all kits which I have reviewed and obviously this will then give you an idea um, uh, how could they build up and, and if it was uh, worth the buy. But first of all, let me have a quick look what's coming. There are coming a couple of, uh, a couple of uh, reviews coming. First of all, the Mubius uh, Nova Supersport 1964. What a fantastic year that was. Anyway, we will have a look at that for sure and we will uh, see what that is all about. Mubius, generally not a bad kit at all. We will also have a look at the 1966 Nissan Silvia. Now there's a shape which not everybody has seen for sure. So that's what it may intrigue me. That's why I got it. Not a very intensive kit as far as the building is concerned, but certainly very, very interesting. And if you look at the black and white photo, there even seems to be a nice uh, two-tone uh, painting going on. So yeah, one could make this an interesting car. Like all tires, you know, the whole thing should. And then I have a, a typical Roland coming up. There it is. It is the 1216 Stutz Racer Auto de Course. Now, uh, Stutz and Mercer were the two big racing car companies in the United States. And uh, Mercer raced about, I have already built, or in the stash, I'm not quite sure, uh, in 132. This is 116, so this is double the size. And we will certainly going to have a look at that very interesting uh, kind of parts it's a Lindbergh kit and uh, some of you might now uh, recoil in horror that's what i do anyway so i will certainly will have a look at that this will be a very very interesting little kit for sure but uh, in the meantime let's just switch over down to the bench i'll uh, give you a quick run around what I'm busy with. Right, here we are flying on the seats of our pants. Now you know about this kit, talked about that a lot. And I showed you a little bit last time, showed you basically the pickup is uh, pulling the trailer. In the meantime, we have uh, had a go at the trailer itself. Here we are. We have the, uh, the little ramps which go in here. Here you go. Very nice, got the tires, we got the sides installed. Here you go. It was all not as easy as it looks. Needs a bit of a cleanup here, I'll see. But yeah, it, that's, that's where we are, here you go. And uh, so the trailer is done. Actually not whether not cleaned up, none of that. And, uh, but yeah, that, was, that certainly went on a little bit further always uh, always lots of fun and then i also went went ahead with the uh, with the racer i just popped the rear wheels on don't even have the front wheels right now but here you are this is the racer we'll uh, have a go at that and uh, goes comes together very nicely no it doesn't go together well that is certainly not what i wanted to say it is absolutely horrid but lots and lots of fun so this is uh what I'm busy with on one side. You obviously have seen that I was busy with the little Fitly uh, tricycle. Um, where was the box? Let me just have a quick look at the box here so you know what I'm on about. Well, here we go. This is the one I was talking about. So this is what we're going, which we are busy with. And uh, in the meantime, I fiddled a bit more and we got uh, some stuff going we uh, 
put a bit of decals on, like these ones. We always told you about those, which he uh, painted close because his name was on there together with a swastika, which was, didn't go down well with uh, the British occupiers in Hamburg, so he certainly uh, got rid of that. And we also clear coated that kind of semi gloss. You don't want that one to be gloss. And obviously, it also needs to get a little bit of a uh, uh, weathering. Then the wheels, last time you saw it, uh, these wheels were all red. Where's my camera? Here we go. Now they are not red, they now have tires, so that's pretty cool. They are done, engine is still here, rest has been just clear coated, so that's where we are with that. And uh, then last but not least, it's also all got a semi gloss clear coat, and as you can see here, the Hamburg um, uh, decals went on, and obviously also the decals which he deleted. Here you go. Right. So that's where we are with that. So this is will be coming together shortly, hopefully, and uh, some detail painting will be done, some weathering will be done, and hopefully on the next bench update I can show you the finished model. Don't bargain on that. Don't bet on that. I might. I might not. Then, I uh, in order to get myself a little bit relaxed, I did this one here, which is a very nice little model. It is a five-window coupe from Rebel. Here we go. I haven't put the uh, top on yet. Here we go. There you see it. It uh, is ready for cleanup final polish and then it should be ready to rock and roll now that was a that was a really really nice build i can only recommend it struggled a little bit to get the interior uh, in place but otherwise very very cool indeed loved to build that now obviously because that one was finished i could start with something else no i just decided i could Ford Thunderbird convertible 2-in-1 and I'm obviously uh, building the uh, custom version right over here and uh, haven't done much but what I have done is some painting so I like painting here we go the interior pink and then we have these little uh, lilac violet right over here the pink is from the fine folks over at Tamiya just that pink. The violet is a cheap nail polish from a china shop around the corner. I think it comes up pretty nice, it's not quite as dark than on the box art, but I still like it and uh, once the clear coat is on it I'm sure it will be looking just fine. Right and that, that's, about, that's about it, what I have to offer on uh, the bench update at the moment. So uh, thanks very much guys for popping in. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I will put my Facebook page link and the link for Grumpy in the description. There will also do not forget next week, Friday on the 3rd of November, 2023, the uh, modeling show will be going on every first Friday in a month we have the modeling show please do not forget i will put up a video a reminder video midweek next week in the meantime what i will do is from the last show we have still one section which i need to upload and this is what have you finished where you can see all the finished models and uh, quite a fantastic models quite a bit of inspiration in there you really should have a look i put that link also in the description. Oh, I mustn't forget to put all those links in the description. Anyway, I will put that link in the description so you can have a look at that as well. I will uh, take that part from the video, cut it out and also pop it onto the channel so you can have a look as well. Then there is a new section up of what you have finished. I've seen there's a section up what you have bought. There's a section up what are you busy with. So get busy guys. Get over there. I'll put the links all in the uh, in the description and show us your finished models it's my favorite favorite part of the show showing what you guys are busy with showing what you guys have finished and obviously showing your proud and uh, sometimes very expensive 
beautiful models and accessories you bought. Looking forward to that. Right, but that's enough now. I wish you all a lovely week further and greetings from Cape Town. Cheers.